What's up everybody, it's Frank here for Yogomi and I've got something really cool that I'm going to be unboxing and setting up for the first time. It is the Upspec Gaming X Screen. It's basically a portable screen that you can attach to your Xbox Series S and then take it on the go. Now the Xbox Series S, the size of it is, is actually pretty small. I mean, if we're looking at both the Series X and the Series S, I think that the Series S is the more forward thinking of Microsoft's current offering of next-gen systems. Now, the reason that I think that is, first of all, the size. It's a much smaller and compact size. Also, there's no disk drive, which means that games that are gonna be played on it are going to be downloaded digitally, stored digitally, and you won't be using any physical media. Now, I talked about this in a previous video I made about having the Xbox Series S and the Series X for six months, and I found that both consoles are absolutely great. I play on both my consoles equally now, but I really think the Series S is major bang for your buck. With a combination of Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate, and xCloud, you'll never have to buy a physical copy of a game again. But what makes it even more efficient, in my opinion, is the smaller size. It's actually slightly smaller than the Xbox One X and One S that came right before it. Since the creation of the home gaming consoles, they've kind of stayed roughly around the same size. It's not like it's super difficult to pack up a console and take it somewhere. I mean, most of the consoles have been decent sizes. The Sega Dreamcast was actually pretty small and the Nintendo GameCube came with a handle on it. So overall, most of the consoles haven't been like super huge. Okay, most of the consoles. But the console that we're gonna be talking about today is the Xbox Series S. I really like this console a lot. And like I said before, I think it's the best bang for your buck, and I think it's the more forward thinking of all the consoles that are out right now. The only thing that I think would make this thing better is if it had 4K capabilities. And I know a lot of people are really bothered by the low storage space, but the more and more I use this, I have found that to not be a problem at all. So let's open this up and see what's in the box. So here is the Upspec Gaming X screen for the Xbox Series S. Now you can see here's your connector for HDMI and here's a connector for USB. Looking at the back, you can see there's a space cut out where other connections could be made to the Xbox Series S. So now that we've unboxed this, let's look at the instructions and figure out how to connect this to the Series S. It looks pretty straightforward. If we look at the back of the Series S, we can see all the connections that we need to make sure we have access to. And there's only two connectors here, HDMI and USB, that's it. On the side, you can see it has a couple of latches here, which I think keep it secured to the sides of the Xbox Series S. The X screen has a hinge that lets you change the angle of the screen, depending on what's best for your viewing, or I guess for stowing. Okay, so let's try and connect this and see how it works. Even looking at the instructions, there's literally three steps. So this should be pretty easy to set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is loosen up these side latches to make sure that we've got some space to slide the console in. Then I'm going to line up the USB and the HDMI ports 
with the inputs here. And let's see how, bam, look at that. Super easy, it's just snapped right on. Now I'm gonna tighten these latches to make sure that it's secure. And it is on. Also, I'm really interested to see how this closes. So it looks like it just closes down. Wow, there it is. Now the whole thing is only slightly bigger because of the screen. But the really cool thing too is how they matched up the vents on this side. So it really kind of all looks like just one piece. I'm really impressed with how much this actually matches the console. I did not expect it to look this good, but it's time to figure out if this thing actually works. So let's plug it in and see what we get. Okay, so now I have power to the console. I've got a controller and we're going to see exactly how this works. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip open the screen and see if there's any activity. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we see is the X screen logo that comes on the screen. I see a blue power light here, which I think is just for the screen. I don't think it's for the console. So I'm gonna turn on the console, and now that I don't have the console on, I do see a no signal. Uh, please turn, on. okay, fair enough. Please turn on the game console, that makes sense. We're turning on the game console. Now I'm gonna have to connect to Wi-Fi because I hardwire my consoles, but what do you know? There's the screen right there. Now, as you can see, this clearly works. It's right here on the screen. It, it's, it's actually here. It's actually pretty cool. I'm really surprised how great this works. So let's do a few things. Let's open up, um, you know what? Let's open up Destiny and let's see what we get. I'm not, you know, I gotta tell you, the screen actually looks pretty crisp and pretty clear. One thing that I really wanna check is I wanna check the latency. Now, as you can hear, the audio, there is audio coming out of the speakers. I'm gonna select my Titan on this since that's the one thing that I know how to play. So the screen is 1080p and it has a really great looking crisp 60 hertz refresh rate. I really can't say uh, this, I mean, the responsiveness, everything about this, like it actually feels really good. Um, I, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Um, so let's see, like I don't feel like there's any kind of lag. All right, let's go down and see if we um, can find some enemies to shoot because I really wanna see if there's any lag. This was, there's also something that I want you, okay, so there's someone there. There we go, nice, okay. Whoop. I'm gonna throw, oh, oh I'm, there we go. All right, let's try this. All right, here we go. Let's go over here. I don't know if there's any more enemies. Oh, I see enemies here. They're out of there, pretty nice. All right, pretty cool. So let's take a look and see how this operates if we go to like a driving game. So now I'm gonna go to Forza Horizon 5, another one of my favorite games. And you guys may notice that I use both of these games as, um, as examples when I do my videos is because they're two of my favorite games. And, it's just, uh, I don't know, they kind of work. But the good thing about testing Forza out in this is because it is a racing game and racing and driving cars very fast, response time is very important. So let's take a look to see what the cars feel like and what the cars drive like while playing this. If it's anything like Destiny 2, this is a, a pretty, pretty impressive device. And I gotta be honest with you, I had my doubts. Okay, what am I in? I'm in a Ferrari Enzo. Oh yeah, all right. So let's take a look, see what we got here. Hi, how's it going? All right, here we go. We're driving. Yeah, seems to be pretty good. Okay, I just crashed my car. Uh, I'm gonna change my car. Uh, let's see it. So as we do the selection, um, Let's go to Porsche, I'm gonna grab, let's see, what are we gonna grab? Let's grab the Porsche GT, hop in that, and then go for a spin, but, all right, here we go. Uh, seems to be pretty responsive, doesn't seem to be any kind of lag. I mean, I gotta tell you, this thing actually works. 
this thing actually, actually works. And I'm very, very impressed, like thoroughly impressed. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool device. It has some limitations that I would add to a wish list, but overall for a portable screen for your Xbox Series S attached to the console, which is actually quite a portable console itself, I think it's a really cool device. Now the X screen comes with a set of extra latches. When you take the device out, it has white latches, but inside the box here, they give you a couple of green ones. Now, if you want other colors, they have blue and red that you could order separately from the website. And when you're ready to go portable, you could slide this in your backpack or use the UpSpec case they also made specifically for this device. 